Guardrails are an important and cost-effective safety feature along high-speed roadways, shielding passenger and freight vehicles from roadside hazards. The in-transition piece of the guardrail is very important to the overall safety because its purpose is to lessen the severity of vehicle collision with the guardrail end. The Texas Department of Transportation supports research and development of continuous improvements and innovations to the guardrail systems in place across the state. The Texas A&M Transportation Institute developed a MASH TL4 compliant guardrail system in 2021 and has now completed the design and full-scale crash testing of an end transition for the TL4 guardrail system, making it ready for full implementation. Guardrails that you see on the side of the roads prevent vehicles from getting off the road. They do that to prevent them from striking an object or crossing over to the other side or rolling over on a, on a ditch. The standard guardrail that you see on the side of the road is designed for passenger vehicles. There are others that are designed for freight vehicles, so like a single unit truck or a tractor trailer. There are locations that uh, will have a higher percentage of trucks. And so a TL4 system is actually a 22,000 pound delivery truck at 56 miles per hour. So it's a, a more rigorous system to uh, prevent uh, collapse of uh, a guardrail or whatever else, other type of roadside safety hardware might be used if it's hit by a larger vehicle. We were looking at the transition from the uh, TL4 system, which is I believe 40 inches high, uh, down to the standard metal beam guard fence system. Because you need a transition because there's not necessarily an end attenuator or something that's gonna be compatible with the, the TL4 system. So you have the TL4 system, which would be applied. Then you have a transition, about a 25 foot transition, down to the, the standard metal beam guard fence system, which is TL3. And that way you can utilize the system where you think there's a, the greatest likelihood that it might be impacted uh, by a larger truck. For this research, we came up with different concepts of taking the shape of the, the test level four guardrail and morphing it gradually to a standard guardrail. Um, it was done here at TTI in the Roadside Safety and Physical Security Division. Uh, we came up with different concepts, then we simulated some of those concepts using finite element simulations. Uh, in those simulations, we looked at different impacts from you know, small car and a pickup truck. Uh, striking in different directions and we were trying to assess the safety of that transition portion of the guardrail. We did a lot of iterations on the design, the initial concepts that we had, until we came up with something that we felt was worthy of testing and we, we felt good about it working well in crash testing. We performed two tests. Both of those tests worked very nicely. Um, and as a result, we have a, a very nice uh, transition design. There are a lot of trucks in Texas, and uh, for areas that uh, we want to uh, provide a greater degree of protection uh, with high percentage trucks, uh, in, in an, maybe a more economical way, uh, this system will be very beneficial in that area. For more information and to find the publication for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.